up there. Thank you for sharing. Hey, my pleasure. I, and I hope, I'm almost embarrassed. I mean, because this is really not a big deal. It's so simple, so fast. Um, it, it's going to be like, why do you make a big deal out of this? This is nothing. And, 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 you know, but the fact of the matter is, if you're not familiar with it, um, then then it's a big deal. And, you know, and, and as I start thinking about this, I'm, I'm just running a comb through my hair. By the way, I haven't run a brush through my In fact, I had the window down in the car, so uh, driving on the freeway, so my hair's a bit knotted. But anyway, that'll that'll work. Um, but, but as I was thinking about this, you know, I, I thought of uh, Jennifer, who was on a shoot that I did, one for Old Navy last year, and Jen Jennifer Aspinall, and she's a uh, uh, an award Emmy award winning um, the hair and makeup person. I mean, you Google her; she's awesome, and she's also a five time award winner for the International Hairstylist uh, Award. And and when I came in, and, and one one of the things I've learned when I go on sets is I want to just go in ready because so often the people doing hair are just not great. It takes forever. And, and I've just done this so many times now. It's just easier for me just to go in ready to go. Um, so that's what I did in this particular shoot. And uh, and and then I, I you know, I saw it was Jennifer and she introduced herself and, um, and, 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 you know, and I, we got to talking and it's like, you know, she's going off about, wow, your beard looks really good. You did a great job. How'd you do it? And I showed her and told her, and she said, you know, I, if you're not familiar with me, she says, I've written these books and I'm an Emmy award winner and stylist and, and all this kind of stuff. And she says, I just have to say your, your beard, you just done it perfect. And, and I almost had to giggle because I, it, they, like, there's not much to this. And, and the fact of the matter is, as you'll see in just a minute, it's really about shaping. And she said that she says it, that she refers to herself in a lot of the work that she does, this type of work anyway, as sculpting. And that's really what it boils down to. I'm going to look at the comments here real quick before we start. Joe Franklin, Los Banos. All right, Franklin, cool. Oklahoma City, all right. We get you coming in from all over the place. Nice. I'm in Southern Oregon today. Um, I was down in Los Angeles last week for a little shoot, but uh, back up in Oregon now, getting ready to go back down to L.A. Um, right around Memorial Day. I'll be down there for a week. So, so here we go. You guys ready? Here's the here's the big the big reveal. Right, first thing I do is I I have a black towel um, that I conveniently just tuck up under my my uh, suspenders, kind of pull it pretty high up in my up 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 on my neck, up under my chin, get my my head hair in the back, my beard hair in the front. Um, and the reason for the black towel is obviously just the contrast, so I can see what I'm doing. Pull out my trusty can of, if you're not familiar with this, I think most of you are, got to be glued. That's the, This is the starting point for me. So I grab my beard kind of like this, and I just, and I'm shaking like a wild man. And, and just and normally I take my glasses off, um, and I'm doing this in front of a bathroom mirror. But for here, and I just spray it underneath, the, the bottom, all over. And get it nice and sticky. And then I let it sit for, for just a, a, not even a minute, probably 30 seconds or so. I got a little bit on my hands, so I'm wiping it up. Um, and then I have a really low power blow dryer. And this is an old one um, that they actually don't make anymore. I don't know what the wattage is, but it, it, what you want is something that's, that's pretty low power. Um, and I actually put it on high, but it's high on a real low power machine, which is often, um, I'll put it up there. But it, this is less powerful than low on some of the uh, the other machines. So then I just take this, kind of pull it out. It's been here kind of long enough. Kind of shape it like this. Start doing like this. Just kind of pushing it up. And then I turn it and I push it this on high. And then I just blow, blow, blow. I blow it in from the side. Blow it up from underneath. Blow it down from the top. And, and you can see I'm kind of holding my hand a bit to give it the shape. And I'll stop, see what I've got. A little bit harder because it's backwards than in a mirror. Then I just grab this and more of this. And I use a lot of the of the got to be glued. Spray the heck out of it. 
But you can see already, right? It's kind of taking some shape. All the uh, the scraggles are are <laughs> this stuff's powerful. Um, you can see it's a little crazy right there. So I'm just gonna push that up. And it's kind of like cotton candy. Then I'll blow it down from the top. Blow it up from the neck, pull the hairs that are loose under there. Get them to adhere. Not bad, right? I mean, I, I mean, right? I mean, this is almost silly to me, me, but I have to tell you, for years, I didn't know about this. I can kind of see there's a little bit something here that's funky. See that? Right there. There's a little bit sticking out. How do I fix that? <laughs> you right? It just... Give it this. Hey, not bad, right? I mean, I, I, I hope you're getting your money's worth. Like I say, I mean, it, there's just nothing to it other than having a good hairspray and a blow dryer of the proper, proper velocity. If it's too um, too high powered, it, it blows it all flat. So you do want to, to get one. And I, I'll look this up and see if I can find, um, I, I don't know what they measure that by. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how to, you know, but but just want one that, that I think maybe one of these soft ones. I mean, they, I know they sell these turbo and they make them all like the bigger is better and more powerful is better and all that. But we want us the other end of that. We want ones that are just the, the small, low pressure, low blowing ones. And I think the diffusers, you can put those on and those might help a little. But so what do you think? I mean, is that OK? Is that I mean, it looks decent, right? Yeah. I mean. I hope I didn't overhype this. I feel really bad if I did because I, 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 but if you don't know, I mean, I've seen Santas going around and their beards looking really scraggly and for, you know, 10 cents worth of, worth of hairspray and, and a blow dryer. And literally, I guess I should have timed it. Well, it's 535 right now. I started pretty close or 435. I started pretty close to 430, I think. So certainly in less than a half and less than five minutes, um, you're kind of good to go, and it looks a lot more Santa-like. Now you do have to look at, you know, the, uh, you know, make sure it doesn't get too lopsided or that. But most of all that, you can you can again just deal with with spray. So if, like if one side, if this is, it looks like maybe this, you know. So if you start noticing, it's like, you know, it just doesn't seem quite as symmetrical as I'd like. Boom. And this is also, you know, a lot of times I've mentioned this before on some of our. I've mentioned this before on some missions that uh, that I get asked periodically if I'd be willing to trim my beard for commercials and television shoots and that sort of thing, or they just want a cleaner or trimmer beard look. And what I do on that is when I go in for the callback, because they usually, you know, I find out about that on the audition usually, then during the callback, I just blow it as tight as I can blow it. So I, I do the same thing we just did, but I just push it that much tighter. And again, it's really sculpting. I mean, that's what it boils down to. And I just push it in that much higher, <laughs> blast that kind of it, blow it, right? It just, it just frees it right into, into place. But, right, I mean, let, let me put this back up. So you, but that, that looks pretty Santa-like to me. So, hey, uh, Todd from uh, Cartersville, how long does it stay in shape? It'll stay in shape all day and all night. I mean, so, yeah, I mean, you can... It depends on how much of this you put on. So if I know I'm going to be shooting outdoors or if it's wet weather or any of that kind of stuff, I always take both the hairspray and the blow dryer with me. So that's that's with me usually on location if I if I know I'm going to have a break or that sort of thing. Um, then normally I just have that in my little Santa bag, um, which you want to see? I'll just... Uh... So I have this little bag right here that, that uh, lands end, I think it is. 
that I throw all this stuff in. It carries a lot. So I just usually throw the blow dryer, throw the hairspray right in there and carry it onto, uh, onto the set or wherever I am. So that during a break, if, if a kid touches it or something like that, I'm mean, touching it is fine. But if some little kid grabs it, you know, a little, a little pre one year old or whatever gets their hand caught in it. Yeah. It can get pulled out a little bit, but again, you can see how easy it is to fix. I mean, you know, and it's, Right. You know, so I'm pulling it pretty good. And, you know, it still looks decent. Yeah. So th so that's it. I <laughs> I hope that's helpful. And, you know, like I was saying before, you know, when, when I didn't know how to do this stuff, I, I mean, it was like oh, I was always at a loss. It's like, what do I how do you go about doing this? Even with the mustache. So what I do with the mustache now, I, I sometimes use this. And I, what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit right here on my finger and do this. I also have, they also have got to believe glued has some white paste that comes in a little thing that that's reminiscent of an old uh, shoe polish thing now take that like that and and just blow blow it up not with the comb just with my fingers because the comb will get stuck you can do that then in the, you know when you're doing this in a mirror obviously you can see better than i can actually see right here but um but that works pretty well but the paste is better, and I use that most of the time. I got a little bit on my, my lip. Um, so anyway, that that that's it. I, I you know, like I say, I hope that it was helpful. Love it. Looks perfect. Looks perfect. Thank, well, thank you, thank you. And and you can see that that my beard is anything but perfect, right? I mean, that's that's one of the things when I see these people that that you know that have their beards that look really scraggly and they're going out being Santa that way. Of course, teach his own. I mean, you know, if that's where you want to go, fine. But if you're doing it because you just don't know how simple it is to do something like this, um, I hope this helps. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, it should for sure. Let's see, fantastic. So glad it's so simple. Yeah, right. If it wasn't simple, I wouldn't do it. I mean, when I first started, um, I, I did a curling iron. You know, that's what we thought was a good idea. And then uh, several years later, well, quite a number of years later, well, at that time, when I first started, my wife did it all for me. And then I started going down to L.A. and doing it, and kind of she wasn't there all the time. And at some point along the line, I took one of um, Tim Conahan's classes, Sam Tim's classes, and he did a little demo during the curling iron in his class. And I thought, wow, you know, I, I, I get it that this is the way everybody does it and all that. Um, but then so I went out and bought this curling iron and, you know, thought, OK, this is how I'm going to, you know, I'll get really get into this. And and I just couldn't do it. I mean, I just I don't know, chicken, I guess. But I was always afraid I was going to burn it. It wasn't going to look right. It was just uncomfortable for me. I didn't like it at all. So I uh, I came up with other ways. Um, sometimes I put sponge curlers in there and different things that you can do. But it, but as you can see, this, this gets you by just fine. So, you know, I can. I could go to an audition right now, and I've just been working all day, um, you know, moving furniture and driving around with my windows down. So uh, so I hope that works. Let me look and see if there's any other questions or comments on here. Do you think it would work with Ben Nye dye beard? I don't know. I, you know, I don't know about the, the dye and the bleach. And I think the bleach guys, I know several of them do this, and I don't think they have a problem with it. I'm not sure about the Ben Nye or any other kind of a spray-in product. Uh, what kind of hairspray, Ed? It has got to be glued, and I, and I and I love this stuff because and, and the, in fact the hairdresser gal um, Jennifer she um, she calls it lacquer. You know you lacquer your hair, and and she used a different brand, but she was familiar with this and said, yeah, it's fine. You know she would probably use it if she didn't do the professional grade stuff. But um, and and I did ask her because I well, one of the concerns I had was breakage. And I said, you know, is it going to color my hair or break my hair if I use it too frequently? And and I've been using it pretty much daily for, uh, well, I don't usually put that. Except when I'm doing with the sponge curlers, I usually don't put the spray in. But in any event, she said, don't, you know, it's not even an issue. It's not, you know, just, uh, you know, wash it with a good shampoo, put the conditioner on. But no, that it won't affect it at all. It's on the outside of the hair and um, it shouldn't be a problem. So so that was good to to know. What is the name? So we got the name of the hairspray. Let me see if there's anything else on here before we, before I say goodbye. Um, thank you for the demo. You're more than welcome, George. <laughs> Pretty simple little demo, right? Um, 
Jonathan Burton. Hey, Jonathan, the podcast king. I mean, he does all these great Santa podcasts. If you haven't uh, checked those out, Jonathan Burton podcasts. They're, they're, they're really awesome. Um, all right, but that's it. Looks like I've, I've seen everything that's on here, all the comments and questions, so I'll, I'll go ahead and jump off. But uh, ta-da, <laughs> the reveal, right? All right, take care. Bye.